This video is about a story that's been going on for two years, which I find unbelievable. It's that the Webb telescope found evidence that clearly contradicts predictions made with dark matter, and it instead confirms the predictions made by the computing theory modified Newtonian dynamics, and no one cares. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised, because Stacy McGulk has told me that this would happen. But I guess I didn't really believe it until I saw it with my own eyes. You see, the hypothesis of dark matter predicts that galaxies should form very slowly and gradually during the history of the universe. In the early universe, there should be only small galaxies. Then they collide and merge and grow to increasingly larger ones. It's like what happens with dirt under the sofa. You buy a new sofa, wait for a few billion years, and suddenly you have dirt balls sitting underneath it. Astrophysicists think that galaxies form just like that. Specifically, the galaxies with the typical sizes that we see around us today should be only about 6 billion years old. Until recently, that was plausible because we just didn't have any data for older galaxies. But the Webb telescope changed that. Astrophysicists quibble about the details, of course, but they agreed on this, that the early universe should not have big galaxies and that they form very gradually. This is indeed exactly what they calculate with these computer simulations for structure formation, like the one you see here. They show the gradual buildup of galaxies, mostly from the mergers of, here it comes, dark matter halos. This figure shows what's called a merger tree for the simulation of one particular galaxy. You see that it starts out from a lot of small ones and then they merge mostly in pairs and then they merge some more and eventually there's only one big galaxy left. In modified Newtonian dynamics, Mont for short, galaxies form entirely differently. Just as a reminder, this theory doesn't contain dark matter, but instead says that gravity works differently than Einstein predicted. Albert doesn't like this at all, but he's really trying to be open-minded. Specifically in Mont, the gravitational force doesn't fall off as quickly as large distances or low accelerations as it does in Einsteinian gravity. This effectively increases the gravitational pull in early galaxy formation, so they form faster. This is a solid prediction from Mond that dates back to the late 1990s. The prediction from dark matter has been refined over the years, but this gradual merger story has remained the same. You can see a comparison between the two predictions in this figure. I even mentioned this prediction in my video about the Webb telescope before it collected any data. And what Webb has seen disagrees with the dark matter and it agrees with Mond. You've almost certainly seen the headlines. Webb has found big galaxies considerably earlier than what dark matter models predicted. They're too big, too early, they shouldn't exist. Astrophysicists reacted by questioning the data and when that fails they'll try to fumble with the dark matter models to make them fit the unwilling data which they have already begun. That doesn't surprise me. What surprises me is that the people who write about it in the popular science press don't even mention that this was predicted by the computing theory. It's like running a review of The Empire Strikes Back and not even mentioning Darth Vader. Minor detail. Just the other day, a new paper appeared that analyzed the new web data in detail and that shows just how far it's away from the predictions. This figure is very telling. You see these lines of different color? These are the predictions from the dark matter models for galaxies at different brightness at different ages. The dots, that's the data. The blue dots should be on the blue line, the green dots on the green line, the orange dots on the orange line, and so on. You see that the dark matter prediction doesn't fit the data at all. Another figure from the same paper shows that modified gravity works much better. In this figure, the dots are observations for galaxies at different ages and sizes. The further to the right, the earlier in the history of the universe, and the further to the top, the bigger. The dashed red lines are the dark matter predictions. You see again that dark matter predicts that galaxies grow late, and there are no dark matter predictions that account for the old and big galaxies. The black lines are the predictions from modified gravity that account for the observed data. 
This is pretty damning, isn't it? This is a clear-cut case where two competing hypotheses were tested on data. One won, one lost, and no one even mentions the winner. It's like covering the US election results with Kamala lost because you're afraid to mention Trump. Are you still wondering why I'm skeptical of the idea that science self-corrects? Did you know there's a free and easy way to learn more about the science behind all the videos that you've been watching? Yes, there is. Have a look at Brilliant.org. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. I found it to be very effective to learn something new. It really gives you a feeling for what's going on and helps you build general problem-solving skills. They cover a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses on differential equations or large language models. And there are adding new courses each month. It's a fast and easy way to learn and you can do it whenever and wherever you have the time. Sounds good? I hope it does. You can try Brilliant yourself for free if you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabina. That way you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for full 30 days and you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and give it a try. I'm sure you won't regret it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.